Hello everyone, welcome back. I am Mighty Z, and it's time for another lunch break side order run. In case you weren't here last time, I am using my lunch breaks from work to run 10 floors in side order as we finish it up. We are using the Brella. We have a plan. I do not have any attack up investment at all, but we are going to make the ink as damaging as possible and use our ink storms to slow our enemies down and have them die in our ink like acid so that we can beat it. So even though we're using the stinky old umbrella, we'll be fine. <laughs> I'm going to beat this with umbrella. I need to do this as a statement to myself and nothing else. I've always... I always thought the umbrella was cool, but I hate using it in actual combat. So, we're gonna do it. Because <laughs> the umbrella's cool and it deserves more than this. It deserves more. <laughs> now, let's go. Moving this tower is my least favorite mode, by the way. I like the sticky balls because one, it's funny to say sticky balls. I said that last time. But uh, moving the tower sucks because you have to focus on that, and all they have to do is focus on killing you. And when they have, like, sniper guys, like that dude all over the place, not fun. <laughs> not fun at all. But as long as we give ourselves tons of escape routes in the vertical, should be good. Also, in case you weren't here last time, the umbrella in this mode has the sprinklers and sub, which sucks. <laughs> I don't know why they gave that the sprinklers and the umbrella. <sighs> Makes it suck worse. But the ink storm is nice. Because we have the ink storm, this is possible. And we have Pearl with her killer well, so that will also help. As long as we power them up sufficiently. Let's get moving. <sighs> Gotta charge up our ink. We don't have any investment in ink recovery either, because we're trying to get our ink itself to be as damaging as possible. But we'll get there. Hopefully we'll get some good chips on these ten floors. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Oh, that pretty uh, shockwave effect. When you, the black parts are really hard to move it along the pipe. But when you finish it, that shockwave actually does do knockback on all enemies. Not really damage, but it will push them off the side of the stage. And it is very useful. So you might want to time that right when the crowd's about to get to you or the tower. Very useful in planning. You don't have to, of course, very open, which is actually why I really like side order. But it's just another strategy you can use. Side order is really fun, and I hope that there continues to be a side order-like mode going forward. Kind of single-player roguelike challenges are always fun in these sorts of games. Even though I'm not always a roguelike kind of guy. Thank you for the warning, Pearl. We're good. Gonna get you up here. Also, when you clear the black part, it makes a lot of headway along the pipe on its own, which is a nice thing. There's another sniper. On the last 10 floors, the snipers will respawn much faster than they are now, so we don't have to worry about that too, too much just yet. And there's only one, so it's not a big deal. Let's go. And we're good. All right. Come on. Come on. Brella's, this umbrella's range is crappy, but it's good enough. All right, last black part. Come on. Almost there. And we're good. Easy peasy. Let's do it. All right, and you guys know the drill, so now we can just kind of chat and enjoy our run up the spire. Let's see, uh, main damage distant, not gonna be good. Poison ink, yes, we need another one of those. Absolutely poison ink. Oh, splash damage goes up a lot. You can have death grenades. All right, let's do it. Doesn't matter how hard it is, it's normal, which is great. They're just giving that to us for free. Stuff. All right, while we do this, let me get my mind off the tension. Have you guys watched the Binge That Fallout show yet? It's really good. <laughs> it, I didn't, I wasn't into it in the first episode, but the more I watched it, the more I liked it. It, it. it was a show that had this kind of odd momentum. Casting is pretty solid. And uh, the Maximus character grows on you. Lucy grows on you instantaneously. Uh, I, I won't say more than that. <laughs> just, just watch it, it's good. There's so many, <laughs> so many good shows now. They're gonna be kids born that don't remember there being bad video game adaptations anymore, which makes me happy because they're getting so good. Video game adaptations are coming out and we're actually expecting them to be good now. If you told me that 10 years ago, I would have laughed and not believed you, but uh, 
here we are. We have plenty. Mario movie's great. Fallout's great. There's... We have several. Can't think of any right now because my mind's focused on the stupid sticky ball. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up The Castlevania anime on Netflix is fantastic. It's... It's better than I could have possibly imagined an anime based on Castlevania could possibly be. It's, it's like literally perfect. <laughs> it's great. Um, what else is there? Um, I, I, I haven't seen the Uncharted movie. I heard that was okay. I don't know. I, I'm, I, Uncharted is just like boring to me personally. <laughs> it's not something I'm interested in. So it's all good though. All right, let's get down here. You can tell me about your favorite video game adaptation in the comments, whether it be out so that I can watch some that I haven't seen before, or if there's one coming out so I can look forward to it, if you wish. There we go. Throw that out. Weirdly, it's weird that there's not a Splatoon anime. It feels like the colors and the incredible Japanese feel to it feels like would be like a no-brainer, and I don't know why they haven't done that, but, I mean, the greatest video game adaptation of all time is the Pokemon anime. It literally makes all the sales of that game possible. <laughs> I don't think Pokemon would be nearly as possible, nearly as popular without a, this, like, seasons and seasons long anime adaptation of everything. And I think Splatoon could be a lot more popular if there was an anime like that, too, but... I'm not in charge. <laughs> it was a Kirby show, and the Kirby show was cool. I mean, it's a little weird, but it was Kirby, and it was fine, and they didn't really go too many places with it, and they kept it simple, and he didn't really travel around the universe too much, and they had all these original characters, which some of them worked and some of them didn't, but they tried, damn it. <laughs> you know? Wish they would try some more, but it's all good. I'm not the one in charge. <laughs> There was the old Mega Man Ruby Spears cartoon, and I don't know why they never made a new one. Like, have any of you actually played Mega Man Legends? It, it's my favorite, like, Mega Man anything, and it looks like a show that we never got, and I miss it desperately. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Let's do it. Mm hmm. Okay, we got the poison ink. Worth it. More poison ink! Glorious! All right, they know what we're trying to do. And I think they know that's one of the possible builds to beat Brello with, which is super good. We can get it now. Get it later. Shot spray reduction? <laughs> no. Hell no. We don't need that for the Brella at all. But, um... Yeah, yeah. This is a no-brainer. Poison ink. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. It, like... Accuracy is not really a problem when you're shooting into a crowd of endless death because it doesn't really matter where you aim. Just shoot into the crowd, hit someone. You really want damage output, damage output, or like debuffing in some way just to slow the mooks down from Chase getting on you. Now, now that my plan is coming to fruition, you're going to see how much damage this poison ink does when these guys run over it. At this point, I don't think I even need to shoot them. The poison ink will pretty much do the job on its own. So from this point forward, we need to just keep as much of our ink on the ground as possible. Those little inky guys are really our enemies now as they're gonna try and undo all our plans. Let's go. And it, this also makes our ink storm vastly more important because now it's poison ink, it's acid rain, baby. Acid rain. Look at that, dude. Suffering. Yeah, yeah, suffer. <laughs> Sadistic, but fun. <laughs> Do it. Get him, Pearl. Shoot him. Shoot down. I wish you could make Pearl, like, focus on certain priorities. Like, if she could shoot straight for the fish we're trying to kill, we could do this really, really quickly, but whatever. Do your own thing, Pearl. We're almost done here, anyway. Poison ink is definitely coming in handy. I'm gonna make it rain on you. Where are you? Where are you? Let's make it rain right here. They keep jumping up here. Look at him suffering. There he goes. Yes. Yes. This is an excellent use of lunch break. 
I would like one more poison ink just to top it off, though. Alright. We have a vending machine. Do we want to use it, though? Let's see. Drum killer whales. Yeah, we need that killer whale stronger, but do we want to risk doing a hard challenge now? We have the lives for it. Mm, well, two lives is fine. We're getting to the decisions, Bart. Gotta take the risk. Yeah, take the risk now. You know what? No, no. <laughs> Sorry to coward out on that. <laughs> I, had a, I just had a bad feeling all of a sudden. <laughs> All right, hopefully this will be worth it. Was this worth it? Yeah, it's better to top the life off. And what do we got? That's useful. And more poison ink! Oh, hell yeah, we can max it out. Hmm, thinking. It'll probably appear again later, but why chance it? <laughs> Locked that right there. Now we have maximum poison ink, baby. Oh yeah. All right. You're gonna really see how like how damaging our ink is now. So okay, now that that's knocked out, we need to ink, we need to work on ink coverage, and we need to get sticky ink if we can just to top it off. We don't need sticky ink, but it makes it super duper useful. All right. I love their little elevator, elevator banter, though. Elevator girls are really funny. A little cute talk. It's like cute slash kind of depressing sometimes because they're all been like in war on the same side against each other, against their will. Just all four of them just seen horrors. <laughs> Pearl, not so much, but still. <laughs> all right. Okay, firing speed is cool, main damage close is always good when fighting crowds, actually. It's hard, though. It's not a danger, but it's a uh, splat zone, which is nice. Uh, main firing speed is okay. I mean, that's another problem with the umbrellas. It's firing speed is so bad. We haven't done a danger floor yet. So let's... I know this seems illogical, but if we don't do danger floors early, Eventually, we will get to a floor where there are only danger floors, and I, will, I, was, I always like to give myself an option of there being at least one non-danger floor, if at all possible. And no item drops is not really a danger, as we have not really been focusing on that as our build. So this could work out for our danger. One of the worst, uh, I think the worst danger is where it increased the speed of all the enemies. That's pretty much instant death. Unless you can one-shot things, even the big boys, it's really bad. But with our supremely poison ink, they won't even be able, to be able to get near us. There we go. We need this to test our poison ink out anyway. Spread my acid rain. Go. Yes, my dog of war. <laughs> no more talk. <laughs> there we go. Uh huh. And we're good. I'm trying to, I want to see how much the poison does damage on the big boys. They're our main concern. We get crowds of just big boys. They're a problem. Look at it. Look at it. The blue numbers that come up are poison damage, so just to let you know. So you can test your build out and see what's effective. Especially for me, since I'm recording, I can look at the replays and see what I did wrong. Very, very, very useful. All right, we need to get it up there. Dang this range! <laughs> gotta get closer. Gotta get it up there. Okay, let's go. Let's go! Hurry up! This push would be super useful if we can get it. Here they come. Push them off, push them off, push them off! And there they go! See? Super useful! <laughs> That's exactly what I was talking about. If you can time the push to your advantage, it's always great. But the point now the sprinkler is useful because the ink is so toxic to them. The sprinkler actually has a function now, maintaining a nice thick coat of poison. Good pearl, good, good pearl. Even if it doesn't kill them, it weakens them substantially. So even with our crappy attack power, we can take them out lick and split. Nope, Mr. Sniper, you can die now. There we go. By the way, if you take out the head of the snipers, you can take them out instantly. You don't have to take out the tower, but 
thing of the tower brings them down to your level and really, really gimps their sniping angle, so both strategies are useful. And Inkstone would finish this up right now. We can get one. Look at that poison. Look at it. It's tearing through these guys. Beautiful. There we go. The sniper's kind of a problem, though. The sniper's kind of a problem. Need an Inkstone. See if we can get one. We're almost there. Just squeeze through. Squeeze through. Good sprinkler, good. Sprinkler actually being useful. Excellent, Pearl. Thank you for that. And we're good. Now, we have a chance. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. So now we have poison maxed out. It won't even appear, which is great. It's a very forgiving kind of roguelite. Splash damage is great for grenades. We don't really need that, but max lucky chain. <laughs> All these aren't really great for what we need. So when none of the chips are good, I like to pick the challenge that is easiest usually, but both Sticky Orb and Chasey Fish ain't bad, honestly. Um, can Special Drop might be better though because the dropping those cans that increase our special will get more Ink Storms out. That actually could be useful. Not, not dependable, but useful. Alright, let's go. Let's do it. Let's roll out. Sticky balls. <laughs> Alright. Let's get our poison spread out. She can put the sprinkler on something that moves. Alright. Let the poison do its job. Push you over there. Give them something to chase. Let's get the next sticky ball. Go sprinkler, go. Alright. And let the ink storm do its work. We need sticky ink so bad. Oh man, that poison is doing its job. Burn him. Burn him. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Proud of that one. Let's do it. Okay. What do we got next? Let's see. Uh uh. Getting into hard floors. Hard only. We could. I do want that killer well stronger. Mm, yeah, main damage distance sucks. Uh, it's, it's, we're doing drone gauge or killer well. One of these two. Get the bonus for the drone charge, though. And max it out, too. Okay, there's actually a choice. The killer well, we... It's, it's really weak. We actually need several more of these, and we're running out of floors now. Um, but... Whenever you get the chance to max it out, and a bonus though, you gotta take it. Because once we max it out, like, I'm pretty sure the chip stops appearing at all, so it just makes our pool better as a whole. So let's get that knocked out. Woo! And another saturation. Not the best saturation, it's a lucky saturation again, which is not lucky, actually. To be Ironically, lucky saturation is the least lucky thing you can get. Weapon saturation, movement saturation, or pearl drone saturation are all easily better than Lucky. Pearl makes her an unstoppable killing robot. Movement makes you so fast that enemies can't possibly catch you in their wildest dreams. And a weapons gives you just a broken version of the weapon you're using, almost guaranteed. Lucky makes it so they drop a whole bunch of stuff, and you might get a whole bunch of uh, canned special. Like, I have to get, like, um, nearly unlimited ink storms? But you might not. <laughs> okay, we have two zones to protect. Okay, it's gonna be annoying. Thank you, Pearl. That didn't really need you for that. Oh, that, okay. That thing down there with the dealie bombs on its head shoots missiles and must die immediately. If there are one or two of those things, they are a run stopper. Pretty bad. The rain will do its job. Don't worry about the bases. We'll get them back later. We just ensure our life first. There we go. We have to reapply the toxic ink. There we go. Let's reapply. Clear them out. Oh, and these guys fly. The flying makes it extra annoying because they could, they don't have to touch our poison ink at all. They are the only enemy type that's actually immune to it. 
and they cover up our poison ink so they let their buddies through. They are literally the bane of our existence right now. Making headway. It's just a good example to show you that there's always an anti-strategy to what you're trying to do, and they are aware of that. But I'd rather do this now than on the last 10 floors when it would be nearly impossible. <laughs> wow, they spawned a whole bunch of enemies and another dealie bop. All right. We gotta get up back on the other side. Here we go. The rain will do its job. Stay safe over here. There we go. There we charge. Ah! Get some more rain. We can keep rain over their spawn points. We will be solid. Not you and you. Gotta die. Boom. And we're good. Let's keep the ink down. There we go. You know, we are getting a lot of special charges. That's really useful. Yeah, we got this now. Go kill Inky over there. And we're good. Not too bad. So like you saw, like at the end, the Lucky gave us all kinds of special charge up, which was nice, but it didn't at the start. It's inconsistent, and I don't like that. I really don't like inconsistency in my builds in any game. All right. Not doing the danger. Need the drone killer well up. This is what we didn't opt into last time. So let's get it now. We get the killer well a fair amount now. So we can just make it more and more damaging. If we can get that up to four, once again, it'd be useful. We can max it out even better. It's gravy. But four is good enough for our purposes. Single zone to protect. That's fine. And we have the higher ground, which I always like because ink adheres to gravity. But the stage itself is not too big, but it's fine. The sprinkler can put in a decent amount of work. Not super good for... Holy crap! They snuck up on me. <sighs> okay. Okay. Not too bad. It looks worse than it is. <laughs> at least they give us escape routes. Ooh, snipers at this range. That's fun. Get a sprinkler down there. Mm -hmm. Man, poison ink is doing its damage. No, Pearl, shoot, shoot, shoot the sniper, Pearl. The, the sniper, the sniper, the bigger threat, bigger threat. Bigger threat. It's fine, I'll kill it. We gotta get it, we gotta get close. Actually, we don't even need to. We got this. We have enough coverage that we're fine. Yeah, we're good. Screw it. And it dies anyway. <laughs> Good. All right, those 10 floors went quick. I'm gonna get to eat slowly again today. Let's knock out this boss before I count my chickens before they're hatched. Here we go, more banter. Mm -hmm. Marina does worry too much. Let's see, right, of course. I didn't know Marina was so nervous, but that's why these uh, DLCs are great. See their character. There we go. And eight is so, I mean, act is so chill. <laughs> All right, so we did the uh, spinny, screamy horror boss. So it's either Big Ball of Doom or the uh, Junk Pal Kids, the clones. It is Big Ball of Doom. That's fine, don't mind you. And with our poison ink, this will be even easier than normal because your face has to touch the floor at some point. <laughs> And when it does, touching our poison. Let's spread out, though. We gotta ink a lot of turf, though. That'll help. The good thing is that thing doesn't move unless we make it move at first, so we can take our time and turf up as much ground as we wish to early on. Can't get the sprinklers. Use the sprinklers to take out the right side. All right, I think we have enough. Now let's get let's get to work. Time to operate. Going to spin dash mode. Pearl, shoot it! Shoot it, Pearl! <laughs> Got another one. Let's cover you. Get a shower that poison right on it. Let it soak into you. There you go. 
Here we go. We're doing, it's, it's doing its work. It's not the it's not the quickest way, it's not the fanciest way to get it done, but it's safe. We're not making it roll crazily. We're just doing the damage we need, being consistent. Here come the mooks. Oh man, the poison is doing its damage on them. <laughs> the jumpers obviously don't get it too bad, so we'll have to take them out ourselves. But it's all good. The point is to make the crowds easier to deal with. Here we go. Look at that. They're barely getting to us now. Now, I meant to jump there. All right. He's all covered now. He's almost dead. Ink is really doing work on him, which is great. There we go. Okay, where's his face? There it is. Well, I guess it was touching the ground. All right, we can charge up. And make it rain again. There we go. Man, when they're standing in our toxic ink and the rain hits them, they die pretty much instantly, which is great. They just get sandwiched in our goodness. <laughs> Show me your face. Show me your face. All right. We got this. Even the sprinkler can help now. Oh, crap. He dropped splat bombs and they hurt. And the enemies like to drop multiple splat bombs, which is annoying. All right, he's going to spin dash mode. Perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines. <laughs> yep. We're safe as long as we're near one of these pinball things. Spin dashing again, huh? All right, he stopped. All right. He's really messing up our ink. All right, Sprinklist, do your job. Where's your face? There's your face. There we go. Make it rain again. I'm waiting for him to pop out some more enemies. So we're going to take out the next wave. We're almost there. Pearl, shoot a, shoot a pearl. Die! There we go. You did some damage. Excellent, Pearl. Good, good, good. All right, one more of those and we'll be good. His spin dash is super hella good now, but he's tiny and weak. So we're almost done. Stop moving. Come on. Uh-huh. Doop, 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 doop. More rain. All right. Go, let's go, let's go. Burn him up, burn him up. While this is taking a little bit, it is at least letting me know that the poison ink works wonders on the mook rushes, which is great though. All right, let's go finish him off now. Come on. Come on! Shoot him, Pearl! Shoot him! Finish it! Damn it! That was- that should have been enough! Alright, it's alright. It's alright, you did your job. Here he comes. Uh-huh. Stop dirtying up my ink! Alright, he's rolling all over the place. Oh, he's getting the spin dash off. <laughs> he ran over his own guy! <laughs> Ow! Oh, that shockwave just damaged too? That's good to know for future reference. All right, let's get our armor back. And let's take you out. If he died from the sprinkler, that would be hilarious. Just go down. Just go down, come on. <laughs> there you go, good work, Pearl. Finally got the shot. All right. Got some more keys. <laughs> this is a pretty good Rella run. We are going to beat this tower. All right. Good stuff. All right. Now on to the final 10 floors. Good going eight. And we got a locker key out of the deal. That boss though, huh? This order creep ain't uh, pulling its punches anymore. It must have made these to stop anyone from ruining its plans. I remember it saying something about making a cloudless world of order. A world of mindless puppets, huh? Sounds exactly where I was before I came here. Act, you weren't in the deep sea metro, were you? Hold up, the deep sea metro? That's where we pulled eight out from. That's the place. Someone or something there 
took me will a well away. I was forced to DJ for them. I don't remember much about my time there except I heard this voice. Point is, it's better left in the past. I can't believe you went through something so awful. You know, I developed the Memverse in the first place to restore the minds of sanitized Octarians like you. And since we're having this conversation, that means it must have worked. Huh. So that was you, wasn't it? I'm racking up quite the debt. And this is even more reason to take back the Memverse from order. Those other Octolinks need our help too. I'm so happy they're actually talking about the lore of this thing, it's great. It is the best part of this game, and we'll talk more about it on the final 10 floors of Splatoon 3 Side Order. I'm Mighty Z, and as always, be safe, be well, and goodbye.